Greetings, YouTube. Believe it or not, we have had a record amount of submissions for videos to commentate on my channel, and so I am backlogged. And hopefully we'll be recording one to two a day and trying to figure out when to post them. I don't want my channel to just be crystal commentaries of people who have submitted hoarding crystal openings. I think that's boring and, and quite frankly, kind of lazy. But, you know, about 25% at max of the time, I'll, I'll throw one of these in. And so today's crystal opening commentary comes from the user... Ruoni, <laughs> R-U-R-O-U-N-I. I'm sorry, buddy. I just knew I was going to butcher that. And so he, uh, he, as always, as I've uh, do, I promise not to watch this thing before I record it. And so I don't know what it is we're about to look at, but it's starting with a five star chaos crystal. So this is an exciting start if you can get Hyperion. And um, X23 is also a great option. She Hulk, sure. Darkhawk and a Bishop. That is a miss. That is a straight up miss in this. I'm not saying that he is not a fine champion for a few nodes, maybe even some Alliance War defensive nodes, but I don't know anybody that uses him on offense consistently. Just nobody. So, okay, that's a miss, but look at all of these five stars. Is that well, eight more five stars? That's amazing. Okay, so about once every 10 crystals, we think to ourselves the drop rate should give us one amazing champ. So we started out with a bishop, and oh no, Kabam Mike's lover is back. Now at least these first two pools are new champions, right? A new champions, a new champion if you're like me, and you fight a lot in the arena. These are arena points that you can use, so that's kind of nice. But in terms of utility, trash. Groot, okay, She-Hulk, all right, so that's a solid champion for sure. And if you had ranked her up and maybe have... Uh, the workaround right now, which is the variant rank up gem that you can then turn into the actual items for somebody else. That'd be pretty exciting. Okay, She Hulk and Luke Cage back to back. Those are both really solid pools. And is this a first time awakening of Luke Cage? That'd be pretty amazing. It is not. Second dupe. Okay, so not really too much on the Luke Cage. It started out terrible, Bishop and Cyclops, but She Hulk and Luke Cage are solid. Are they to the uh, links of, say, Captain America, Infinity War, and Void or Quake? No. But they're still up there. So I would be fairly happy with this. I wouldn't be ecstatic and I wouldn't be depressed. Somewhere in between. All right. We got our next five-star crystal. And we are waiting for the server. And look at that new server warning in the right. They're just trying to hide it from you. Uh, it is just so deceiving. It's worth the video, but I haven't done it yet because, uh, quite honestly, I just have been too busy. But, uh, yeah, making that message new is quite shady. All right. Cold Obsidian. Oh, that's a troll over. For Vegan Thor, another new champion. So new champs, new champion. But X23 or Cole would have been miles better than this guy in my book. I have seen some people do some decent damage with him in videos. But in general, Vegan Thor, one of the more disappointing designs of a champion we have in this game. Popping Iron Man Infinity War. Okay, Team Pop for the win. I love that. And he's got a five-star featured crystal. And did I see a six-star? Oh, this thing is just, just filled. Is he going to do individual pops now? <laughs> Howard the Duck. I love Howard the Duck. I'm like the only person on YouTube who I think could admit that. But um, special two for days, man. And I just think he's kind of fun to play with. Oh, no. Groot. Well, at least it's the first time Silver Star. I have gotten so many Groots. That champion needs to be buffed more than anybody in my book right now. All right, now we have two five-star featured crystals. So much hoarding. This is so impressive. Got that Kang profile pick going on, too. And Ebony Coleslaw. I mean, it's a featured champ, but uh, he sucks. He is just the worst. Ebony, so many flaws. All right. Second five-star featured. Let's see how this is going to go. And we have ourselves a OG Spidey. Yeah, Wasp would have been way better. But it's another new champion. So many new champions for this guy today. I mean, I'll, I'll take a new champion. You know, that last one is certainly not worth 15,000 five-star shards, but a new champion's new champion. Okay, so we had a dungeon crystal, two five-star featured crystals, at least, what, seven or eight basics? What a crystal opening. This is great. I love doing stuff like this. All right, come on. Give him a good six-star. Give him a good six-star. Oh! I was hoping that would have rolled over and just slowed down. Okay, I have a six-star Miles Morales. I don't use him. I don't like him, but he's worth, like, 64,000 arena points per... Round, so there's that. Um, okay, so did not get 
a top tier champion, a god tier champ, whatever you want to call him, champ. We did not see a Cole Obsidian in this case, or like a, a Blade or Starkey, etc. But I, I don't think this is by far the worst crystal opening we've seen. It's just kind of an average one. You know, it's something that is realistic to what happens when the average user saves all those shards. But I was so thankful to have the privilege of commentating this. I love giving people a reason to have fun with crystal openings, to film them. Even if I never commentate it and you just film it for your personal use, if you have a great pool, that's something you can look back on and, and just have fun rewatching. And that's part of why we play this game. So why not? Why not capture it? What's the worst that can happen? So there you go, YouTube. Thanks again to this summoner for submitting this. And if you would like to submit a video for me to commentate, just remember that I'm not taking four-star submissions and three-star submissions or premium disappointment unless it's like 500 premium crystals. So otherwise, just five and six stars. And otherwise, uh, just keep saving up. And thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. This was a lot of fun, and hopefully you enjoyed watching it as well.